my bro. Yes, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Is my mic on? Check, 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 check. Turn me up. Check, check. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We in the building. Culture No Vulture Podcast, and I'm your host, Boss Life Lido. Unfortunately, my pops is not here today. Um, he's actually over at Cakes NYC setting up for an event that we doing the hip hop memorabilia auction in honor of Royal Flush fighting his cancer. Uh, we putting that together. That's going on tonight, six to twelve midnight. Um, y'all probably won't see this until next week, but I still gotta let the people know that Pops is out there putting in that work. And I'm actually upset because I wish he was here today. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is a dope one. This is my brother. I, yo, he's been set to set. I've been trying to make this happen for the people because I knew it was going to be a good one. My spirit was telling me, like, yo, you and Mark got to talk. And my babe boy is in the building. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mark John Jeffries in the building. <laughs> yes, man, my brother. Uh, Thank you for pulling up, G. For sure. I was bro. like, yo, you moving around? You working? He was like, nah, man, I came straight from the crib. Yo. Doing self tapes all yo. day. Yo. He was knocked out last weekend. Last weekend, he yeah, was. Yeah, last week it was a wrap. Yeah, some it's it bugs flying around. It's a lot. New York bro. City, bro. Yeah. yeah, it's the vultures. Yeah, <laughs> they're releasing it, trying to slow us down. <laughs> but we won't be stopped. All we need is a little Buckley's. All we need is some, you know, sliced up lime. I mean, the lemon with the honey, with the mm-hmm. ginger, with the garlic, with the. That little. Come on, you can't stop ready. us. The little home remedy. What's your favorite home remedy, bro? Like what? What? Mm. Growing up, did you hate? But oh, cod liver oil, cod liver oil. Oh, that's like the fish oil, right? Yeah, I used to. My grandmother used to give me the uh, the pills, so I never, never, never got to taste it. My parents used to give me straight out the jar cod liver oil. Come here, every 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 morning, come here, yeah, because it was supposed to be like immunity and all of this other stuff. Come here. You on Nasty. set? You the money man? Yo, look, come here, you little fucking come, come cash in. cow. Come <laughs> here. You better take this. Pops, more. <laughs> you knew what it was. You knew, you knew, you knew what, what it was. was. I knew what it was. Yeah, well, well, that's good, though, man, because we we built a relationship over the whole COVID and mm-hmm. quarantine thing, and uh, we built a strong bond just through me, you, and, the, and our, our mutual brother, Gene. Yep. And uh, over that time, we spent a lot of time together. You know, it was, it was a bunch of, like, entertainment dudes who – weren't laid off but yep. couldn't do shit. Yep. you know what i'm That's saying that we would we would uh fish together we yep. started the bait boys the bait boys we're gonna, we gonna do the movie the bait boys we got to we yeah got somebody to. better not take our shit. Yeah. it's gonna be just three dudes right. and <laughs> they stuck in quarantine and they just start fishing Word. and some crazy happens Word. on the trip but uh nah with that being said like i've spent some time came over the crib and you have a system Mm-hmm. Like I see you got your grains, you be doing your smoothie, you be mm-hmm. doing your sea moss, and I, I've seen your, your healthiness. Yeah. So I'm sure that growing up that stuck with you. And that's probably why you still be on it today. It did, but it did. You know, when you first <laughs> when you when you made like, nah, something, nah, nah. you hit a stage where you like, I ain't doing that no more. Yeah. I feel but that. then I, you know, as you get a little bit older, I'm I like, oh, that's that. all my parents. Mm-hmm. Cause now with my son. It's like, come here, bro. No, man, you got to do this. You yeah. Look, you're going to thank me later, you know? So, oh, so, uh, yeah. I, I, I got away from it for a minute, but, and then if yeah. anything, COVID, people that you know dropping left and nah, right. Nah, it's just, it's just different now. Yeah. It's different now, bro. It's like so many young people catching cancer and other mm-hmm. diseases. And then, yep. you know, it's a different bug, a variant or yeah. a strain or, yep. I don't know what they trying to do to us, bro. Bro. I'm so scared, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. I, I got another baby on the way, and I got my son here, and I be so scared yeah. just for the future. Yeah, bro. Like, I literally want to make as much money as I can and, like, go to Columbia, Peru. Yeah. Or, Yo. I, I want to live out the country, bro. I want to get away from For real. Yo, from, what's crazy from, is from all this. my girl and I, we talk about that all the time. Like, yo, what country we... Bro. Why? What, what country? Why are they making up a life for us and telling us we gotta stay here and this is this is the life you're supposed to live? Like I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna live half this life. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna That's go live a jungle same life. Thing I said. Same thing I said. The bank is up. Yep. Look, son, yep. you gonna live your half a life. Yeah. Because trust me, you gonna come over here. Oh when yeah, you, yeah, yeah. When you yeah. hit fifty, then you coming over here. Yeah, that's a fact. But yeah, bro, like that's really the goal. I ain't even gonna mm-hmm. lie to you. I, I don't feel like my spirit wants to finish off yeah. here. Yeah. Like it wants to be. Somewhere where I got to wake up, not to, you know, work to live, but just mm-hmm. wake up to live. Yo, you know? like, the one thing I love, I love, I'm a New Yorker, born and raised. And, yeah. But the one thing that I realized when you go to other countries, it's a freeing experience because it's like, they don't, you really, you can have your own. 
You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. when you go somewhere else, you could truthfully have your own, your own land, your own trees. You could go to the farmer's market or you could go down the street, buy these fruits, buy these vegetables, get that animal chopped up. And mm -hmm. you know that that's real. Yeah. Our country is built on, on watch it. uh, it's our economy, right? So everything is like taken and scaled to a point where the productivity is more important than the health. Now they, they 3D printing meats, bro. Did you Come hear on. about that? I mean, I've seen some stupid they video 3D about it, but can you eat it? Meat? You yeah. can eat it? Bro, it's restaurants right now, Silicon Valley, other places, where it's a delicacy. Mm -hmm. So they charge you like two, $300 for some yeah. 3D printed chicken or some 3D printed fish. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yo, I got an idea. Yeah. Me, you, and Gene, mm -hmm. and like, you know, whoever else, you yeah. know, maybe your besties. Uh -huh. Um, Let's just, at one point, you know, when we get like 40 or something, you know, when we've like, you know, we out here just running don't say, laps. Don't say buy a farm. Nah, man, I'm What's something deeper than a farm. Like, I want to, like, let's go find, you know, DR, Puerto Rico, whatever. You know, Puerto Rico, you know why I really like Puerto Rico? Because it, 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 it gives you the balance of feeling like you're in the States, and then you drive 45 minutes and you feel like you're so mm -hmm. far away. Yeah, that's a fact. So it's such a beautiful yeah. balance of, of, of still being in the country, yeah. but still being connected to the world. Yeah. And um, let's just go build a community, bro. Like, let's go get land and build houses bro, and farms and... And you know what I'm saying? And that's that. That's on fire. Yeah, man. Let's like, do it. what are we doing? Like, I'm we don't got to send our kids to schools. And like, that whole school is an, it, it's, it's an overrated experience. What, schooling? Yeah, I feel like schooling. <laughs> like, people like, no, they need, they can still get that. Yeah. By traveling. Bruh. By doing other beautiful things. And, Bruh. you know, you don't necessarily got to go sit in the same room with the same people for freaking eight hours a day, I, 365 I like days a year. This is the crazy thing about school to me. And I'm not knocking education. No, at not at right? all. Like, That's not the conversation is, we have. Education is we're just, education. It's the you way you're educated, educated is what way. we're talking about. Bro, to think that a parent takes their kid to school, yeah, drops them off at 830. Come on. They go to work by nine. Come on. And while they're sitting at their desk at their job. It's a system. Involved in this, this, this unfulfilling cycle each and every day. Their Preach. kid Preach. is sitting at a desk Preach. from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m., 5 p.m. if they got after school, Preach. and they are in this cycle that they will remain in until they are an adult, Preach. choose another school to go to, Preach. put themselves in the hole further, that further just conditions them to create the same process that their parents were a slave of. I wish we had like some quiet. Hi, Yo. Hi. It's the craziest it's thing to me. It's systematic. It sounds like jail. It's the craziest it thing sounds to like, me. It sounds like jail. It does, bro. It sounds like they've created systems for us to have time to go work for other people, to create money for them mm -hmm. so that we can have permanent babysitters. But that's not what we're going to call it. We're going to call it education in the school system. And that's where their kids will go while they go work for us like robots. Nah, bro, yep. we don't have to do that. Why yep. does a kid have to wait until he's 16, 18 years old to start experiencing life? Yes. So from one to 18 years old you're supposed to just raise and deal with the same 300 people in your school mm -hmm. see the same shit do the same shit then you wonder why your kids catch murders yeah. fucking rape charges yeah. drug charges because they're in the same system competing with 300 people that are stuck in the same system as them yep yep competition either br either breeds three things failures winners or motherfuckers that go to jail <laughs> that's a fact that's the only that's thing competition fact. breeds that's a fact yeah what, what are we talking about? Yeah. So, you know, look, my son is in school now. He goes, mm -hmm. he's he's in the same systematic system that we're talking about right same now. Here. Yeah. And it's okay. Yeah. But I know what my goal is. Mm -hmm. And he's only he turning seven years old next month. Shout out to Ezra. You know, big yeah. E, you know. <laughs> and um, we're going to figure that out. By the time he's 10, 12 years old, we're going to make sure that they experience and learn different. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's what that's what breeds different and genius people. Yeah. All the geniuses, like you know, it's so crazy in music. And I know I'm talking too much, but I'm gonna ask you something. In music, right? Somebody you used to work with he used to say this, right? He's like, "Yo, did the kid graduate from high school?" And I'd be like, "Yeah." He'd be like, "Yeah, it's probably not gonna work." Mm. So I'm like, damn. He's like, the likeliness of somebody that's a superstar of them graduating not graduating is the dropouts. They just mm. think different. Yeah. They think they different. go against the grain. They not they only go against the grain, the but they're learning. The yeah. They're learning outside. They're they not in that building. The they, they yeah. drop out 14. They got to learn from the real world. They got to yeah. learn from outside people. Yep. And they create something of themselves. Bro. Not saying that dropouts. I'm not, you know, bigging that up. I'm just, yeah. you know, do your research. You can but call me a liar. 
right? There's a reason. There's always there's a, a reason, reason why. That they struggle with certain things. So and we were talking about about traveling, and I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, but since we're talking about traveling, mm-hmm. Egypt, Costa Rica, <laughs> Italy, yeah. uh, I've been seeing you bounce around. As soon as they, un- as soon as they, they unleashed the the gates, it was like, yo, people, you can, bro, you've been bouncing around and, yeah. and traveling, and maybe like making up for lost time. Yeah. But but what's been your favorite? What's that? What what do you 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 just are you traveling, inspiring yourself? What's going on? I uh the world is big, bro. And Huge. our 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 life, our reality is all based on what we take in. Mm-hmm. And the things that you take in will only enable you to create what you want. But if you only take in the same experience, then that means that the things that you create, the things that you're capable of, is always gonna be limited. I have friends, bro. Some of my toughest friends growing up never been outside the Bronx. Went to my house in PA. Now, mind you, this dude I'm talking about, I'm not going to say no names. Yeah, for sure. But he tied the kid up in school over the weekend for talking crazy to him. Jumped the kid, beat the kid up, Mm. tied him, duct taped him to a chair, and left him in a janitor's closet over the weekend. They found him on Monday. My man got to PA. He saw a deer and broke down crying. A deer. A deer. He had never seen a deer. You seen He's it. like, I seen the movie like Bambi, my nigga, but I didn't know that they be running around. I'm like, he Yo. cried he in cried fulfillment. Seeing a deer. Not a fear. He cried no, of joy. He couldn't believe it. It's a new experience. He couldn't believe it. He was like, he always loved that movie and seeing it in person, I it moved him how, so how, much. How old uh, grown we were man? 17. Oh, he was 17. We were 17. Oh, oh, he was 17. This is when you both were 17. This is when old. we was both 17. Got Cry it. overseeing a deer, bro. And it's just like, if if a blind man has never seen the sun, how can he draw it? How can he explain it? Mm-hmm. What can, how can he tell you what it looks like? How so if, we, if we don't know what things look like, how could we create it? So like, we are born in our country, mm-hmm. but our country is one country out of hundreds of countries that has different systems and different ways of doing things. Mm-hmm. How can I say that this is what I like the most if I've never experienced that? And 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 not only just the country, but different states, different people you feel from me? environments where you don't come from. Yeah. Like, you know, I bounced around as a kid a lot, lived in New York, LA, you know, back and forth, Jersey here. Like, you know, I grew up, I never had like day ones. You know how mm-hmm. niggas be like, oh, day one. Yeah. I mean, I can call somebody my day one because I knew them from this age and we stayed in touch. Yeah. But I never grew up around somebody all my life the entire time. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I sometimes was jealous of that. Mm. But it molded me, bro, because I understand and can vibe and and deal with so many other people because I've seen so many other people ways of living. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's not strange to me when I see somebody, you know, drink they, they coffee a certain way. Like, mm-hmm. nah, yeah, that's how people drink in L.A. Like, that's regular. Yeah. You know how people be like feel yeah. uncomfortable and <laughs> yeah. you know like Word. you know and, and the older i'm getting the more i'm learning to like yo be open with people's it, ways it of allows living you to be open-minded and accept different perspectives and yeah. that only makes you better Hell it only yeah. helps you grow understand you know so, yeah one one thousand percent bro it's important it's important like i want with my son i want him to take so much in because that's just gonna make him unstoppable shout outs to Little man following in your footsteps. Yes. Getting his bookings recently. He yes. just booked uh Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods my and man, uh man. and he's on the roll, man. How, how old is he now? Six? Six. Same age yeah. as my son. Yeah. Um, I remember we came to the birthday party in Jersey uh-huh. that time. Um, next birthday, invite me. When's, when's his birthday? I don't, I don't, I don't do it. Oh, anymore, yeah, I'm so, my apologies. Yeah, I, I I know. Uh, no, I just don't celebrate. No, you were you were raised anymore. Jehovah Witness. Yeah. So I, I already know you don't celebrate birthdays. Yep. I know you're jealous. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but uh, little man still celebrates in his own way, yep. form of fashion, and that's dope that you allow that. Yeah. And you don't, you know, birthday block. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. everybody does. I, you know, at one point, you can ask him that question. Like, look, mm-hmm. son, this is what I believe in. Yep. Is that something you want to follow? Or do yeah. you want to keep celebrating? Either way, like I'm cool with it. Mm-hmm. You know, but but that's dope that you give him that. That option. You yeah, know? bro. Yeah, because yep. birthdays are really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, for the people who don't know, man, this is my brother, Mark J. Jeffries. You know, John, for you niggas that don't know. Uh, but but for they don't know, man, my, my brother didn't did, you know, man, the list goes on. Losing Isaiah, Get Rich or Die Trying, Notorious, Haunted Mansion, Power, Nerve, Finding Nemo, Big Mama's House 2, Stuart Little 2, City on the Hill, 
uh, countless other independent films that you don't know, um, that you should know, uh, or that you do know. Um, but my brother, yo, you've, by the time you were 18 years old, you've done enough work than an adult who's been acting for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. true to say? Yeah. Yeah. How was the work? You know what's great, bro, is you don't see a lot of young entertainers, young actors that can weather mm -hmm. the tale of time to yeah. be here still talking like a human yeah. being <laughs> and not a clone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? And 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 that I know that comes with a strong foundation. Let's talk about your OG. Pops. Yeah, man. Um, how do you keep this this train rolling for so long, or assisting keeping it rolling? He, both of my parents, they just they balance each other, you mm -hmm. know. And my father made sure that because I became the person with the career, right, the 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 famous one, mm -hmm. he didn't allow him and my mom's responsibility as parents to be forfeited. And I feel like that's where a lot of like celebrity kids mess up because they become the breadwinners of the family. Mm -hmm. So now as they get an older, the parents stop disciplining because they just want to be a part of the ride. So you get two types of parents in that situation. Mm -hmm. You either get the ones that try to keep controlling them and making sure that they listen and they follow them. So that way they got them in their clutches, kind of like Britney Spears and what she went through and a couple of others. Yeah. Or you get the parents that oh, he's 16 now. No, he can make his own decisions because they're afraid that once you get 18, 19 and they've tried to discipline you, you're mm -hmm. going to turn out and cut them off and not want to have anything to do with them. Yeah. And then they start letting you be the parent and the decision maker. My pops didn't play certain things. On set, people call me Mr. Jeffries. He'd be like, he's 12. Yeah. His name is Mark. Yeah. He could go and get his own stuff from craft service. Actually, Mark. And he used to do the <laughs> snap. This is what he used to do. I used to hate the snap. Mark. Go get me uh orange juice too. Come on, go. Grown folks are talking. He had to let them let them know, he like, yo, he's know. a kid. He's a kid. Yeah. You know, and it wasn't it wasn't from a place of control. I need to put you in your place. It nah. was like, no, you're a child. Yeah, bro. I'm not gonna let this job nah. get to your head and let adults steps. treat you like you bigger because this is just a job. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. that that was a big part of my foundation. And then where my dad was the disciplinarian, my mom was the lover who also was the educator. Yeah. You know, and my, my pops was big on education too. So they just kept me grounded, man. And they made, I would say my parents, because they knew I was smart, they made sure I understood. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like people get too short tempered with their kids. They get irritated and they just tell them, no, because I said so. Yo, didn't I say, didn't I say to go? Why? He's asking for a reason. Nah, he you wants, know what I'm saying? He wants to digest. He wants to really understand it. He needs to, because that's a human thing. And mm -hmm. we don't realize from the moment your kid is no longer a toddler, mm -hmm. they are becoming a young adult, which means that the things they're going to need to know as an adult, they mm -hmm. should start having some kind of experience with it now. Mm -hmm. Responsibility, relationships, how you talk to people, how you demand respect, setting boundaries, all of that, bro. Yeah. All of that. Yeah. And too many parents are just like, because I said so. Didn't I tell you? See, Go sit down. See, what people got to understand is, right, that child at a certain age can really, his brain can function as high as you want it to. Yeah. If you just explain yes. and give it the details. Yo, my son, the reason why my son can really uh, explain and, and speak so well is because I've never goo goo ga got him. Mm-hmm. Ever. Yeah. Even when he was in the tummy. Yeah. I talked to my babies through the tummy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From six months up. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm laying down and I'm talking to them and yeah. I'm explaining who they are, who they're going to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be a king. Yep. But with that being said, like, you know, your, your child, I've always talked to my son. Like, he comes home from school. It's like, okay, good. Okay, papa. No. It's like, what's going on, son? Yeah. How was your day today? Yep. Your day was great. Mm -hmm. What what part of your day was the best day? You know, the best part. Yeah. You know, what was the best part of your day? Because I really want them to give me details. Yeah. You know, what was the worst part? Yep. What made you feel the best today? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, maybe you should do more of that. Yep. That made you feel great? Cool. Do it twice tomorrow. Yeah. Because then it's going to make you feel really great. So, like, you know, I've been talking to him just in ways for him to understand who he is. And I ain't going to front. He's brilliant, bro. And yeah. shout outs to you. You said something about people not being patient with their kids and mm -hmm. just, just do it. Just. You sent me some, you know, I hit you and I was like, yo, bro, look, man, my son's a superstar. <laughs> I 
I know what you are. Yeah. I know what you're about to create. <laughs> you know, I know you're about to create a whole little monster in your son. <laughs> I'm like, yo, look, bro, he's a star. I got to like, I want to get, yo, I'm so thankful for my somewhat, I'm not going to say career change, but just evaluation mm -hmm. on what I really want to put my time into. Because I can't even lie to you. I want to balance it and really put more time into my son. Mm -hmm. He's the future, bro. He deserves my time, son. Yeah. And it starts now. Yep. Don't want to wait. Yep. But yeah, I hit you and you sent me some stuff for him to do, um, you know, scripts and voiceovers and stuff like that. He was like, yo, yeah. bro, you know, this is my brother. Y'all don't get this type of treatment. <laughs> and don't call him and be like, well, you did it. <laughs> Chill. It's a bait boy. Uh, it's a bait yes, boy. It's only yes. three of us. Yes. But... <clears throat> I was doing it with my son and I was getting a little frustrated. He was doing great, but you know that that JP Morgan joint, that's <laughs> my God, optimizing business. Yeah. Yo, it was going crazy and I was getting a little frustrated and he asked me a why and I was like, duh, 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 duh. and I caught myself and I said, nah, puppy. Because I'm learning that you got to coach everybody different. Mm -hmm. Some people need to be aggressive. Some people need to be patted on their ass. Some yep. people need to be cuddled. Like, there's a lot of ways that you can coach a person. And yes. You just got to figure out how they need to be coached. Yep. Speaking of coaching, mm -hmm. you have your classes. Yes. And you've had a superstar emerge from it. Yeah, a couple. Da Vinci. Uh -huh. I mean, a couple. The one yeah. that I really know of, and please tell me about the others. I mean, I know the uh, light-skinned kid, the tall kid. I've been seeing him yes, do a lot that, of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's a few dudes that I've really been seeing on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> and they weren't on my screen before them classes. Not to say that it all came from you, but there's obviously a system that works. Mm -hmm. And um, shout out to Da Vinci that plays the brother on BMF to Meech. Um, got the eye out and shit. <laughs> uh, but nah, man, talk talk to me about that system. Talk to me about how it fulfills you or, or, or what even inspires you to start teaching. Uh. So the thing that inspired me, I after I applied to college a few times, not getting not being able to go because I was shooting and always booking something so I couldn't go. Yeah. I um I had an interest in early childhood education because my mom, she's an educator. And uh when school just wasn't like clicking for me and I I was advised not to follow that path. Mm -hmm. I um spoke to my parents and it was like, well, you want to teach? Like, why don't you teach acting? And I was like, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. So I had my agent at the time reach out to like some acting institutes. Mm -hmm. There was one in particular. I'm not going to say which one. Uh, they wanted me to come on as like a guest, a special guest celebrity coach. Okay. And I went on to do my research into the school and the program. I'm like, oh, this is a big school. But then I looked at the prices. Mm. And I'm like, yo, these prices are crazy. It's just outlandish. It, people that look like me, that's where I'm from. There's no way they can afford this. Like, come on, come on, EBT mom. don't hit with acting classes. You know what I'm saying? Come on, like, yo, come on. So I was just like, do I want to take my talent that my mentors have passed on and the tips and experience that I've gained, mm -hmm. that I've learned from my mentors that gave to me freely, yeah, and take it and give it to an audience that does not necessarily relate to my upbringing and my circumstance. Yeah. You know, like I want to make sure that my classes are available for everybody. Mm -hmm. And um, I started my own class Packed out of too. a pizza shop. I used to pull next up to, to, the, my, to the other one. Next to my agent's office. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, man, from there it grew. Now, 13 years later, my own school, a bunch Amazing. of students who are successful. And it's just like... Once a person understands what acting really is and what it isn't, it's easy. Yeah. You know, it's easy. But in all things, like, it's an art. So it requires the care and the passion to be mm -hmm. disciplined and intentional with it. And what if you don't have that, if you chasing the fame, if you chasing the bread, if you're chasing for the, you chasing it's not for Especially you, Especially acting. It, like, it, it ain't music. It do. ain't, you know, well, anything you do when 1,000%. I yeah. just want to stress... You know, look, bro, I ain't going to lie to you. I've come from an entertainment family, meaning I've seen the music side. I've seen the movie. I've seen all of it. I've always been around it. And you can fake the music way more than you can fake this acting shit. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. You can fake that image. You can get, but ain't no, f you can fake a role, mm -hmm. but you can't fake a career yeah. in acting. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't fake a career. You'll, you'll make some money, mm -hmm. but you ain't going to be around for long. Yeah. And, um, 
to me is just it takes way more dedication it takes you weed out a lot of the 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 knots yeah. faster when yeah. it comes to like acting and things like that i think you know unless you got a gazillion dollars and you can make your own movies mm -hmm. you know i don't see it really working Word. but um it's solid bro now i remember coming up there and right by the pizza shop and i think you took it from the pizza shop to upstairs mm -hmm. and um i would come up there and it was packed out yep. and i'd stand in i think one time you allowed me to stand in and, mm -hmm. and, and, and watch as you went and it was just fun bro yeah it was fun it felt organic it felt inspiring it was really dope dope Appreciate it was really it, dope when you created it um this last question on that when you created it did you do it with the intention? Like, yo, I'm going to find me the next Denzel. <laughs> like, was that um, a, even a thought or an intention? Nah, the intention was just to, like, teach people how to work. You know, mm -hmm. like, people got dreams, bro. People yeah. got dreams and not an outlet to pursue them. Yeah. So I just I just was more so focused on making sure that everybody that came through my door, when they left, they were a better version of themselves as That's performers. And, like... But also keeping it real with people. I, I have people I put out of class. Like, yo, yeah. I, I'm i not saying this ain't for you. Yeah. But I don't know how to help you because of these reasons. And you're yeah. not doing this and this and that. Mm -hmm. Yo, I feel like you're wasting your time. You show up, you're not putting in your work. Like, go to another school. You yeah. know? So um, I just wanted to make sure that I poured in things that was actually going to, like, help my students and help them take that next step. And fortunately... With Jehovah's blessing, bro, I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. Able to do it. Hey, you know what's great? Because I wrote this down, but uh, you're still young, bro. Mm -hmm. So for you to be humble enough to sit here and be like, some of you motherfuckers can be competition. <laughs> I could be in here teaching the motherfucker that take the motherfucker role for me. But you are so comfortable in who you are mm -hmm. as an actor and what God has for you. That you were strong will enough at this age, mm -hmm. a young man in his 30s, right? Yeah. Young 30s. Yep. And I don't want to date you. I don't know what the, <laughs> what you got on Google. But you know, uh, for you to be able to like humble yourself and give people that work and then watch other young people around you win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With a whole heart is yeah. why God has something, and he already gave you a lot, but Tell he me. has something even greater mm -hmm. than what you've done before. And you on your way, man. Appreciate it. You know, it, you on your he, he, he's just whatever, whatever he's doing, sometimes, you know, and this is for anybody out there that this that 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 needs this. Sometimes you don't see the work that's being done. Yeah. And yep. and you get discouraged, yeah. you get thrown off, you you feel like you losing the race. Word. But the real work that's being done, you cannot see. That's a fact. But you better stay ready on that bench you when better. he say get in the game. Yeah. Cause, yeah. cause he, bro, bro. he call your number. Yeah, boy. don't you let better. him call your number. You, <laughs> you, you better be warmed up, dog. You better be warmed up. You feel up. me? So yeah. we warming up. That's a fact. We ready? That's a fact. You know, and 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 I'm excited. You yeah, know, bro. I'm excited. I'm excited. All the niggas that ain't, you know, yeah. that been missing, yeah. stay missing. <laughs> you know. So I'm excited, Word. man. I'm excited, and uh, I'm excited to see when you see those videos that I sent you on Ezra. Get yes. that feedback, and I'm gonna let the but. people know. Really, what you said, but yo, them voiceovers, yeah, he gonna kill that. Yeah, huh, he's a yeah, beast. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. a beast, and That's it's great because I know voiceovers isn't straight one takes, but there was like a great part here, a great part here, a mm -hmm. great part here, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, That's good enough. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah man, shout out to my brother, giving the people the lessons, and shout out to Da Vinci and all the other young. Is there anybody you want to name that that doing their thing specifically? Oh, man. Or? Um, Janelle Young, Janelle Young, Quincy Giles, Barrett Blizzard. Uh, come on, Max man. Justy. Come on, man. Uh, Zachariah Norman. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, that's my dog Norman. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my yeah, dog. Exactly. Norman. Oh yeah, I fuck with Norman. Yeah, exact. Brittany Marable. Man, the list goes on. Yeah, he, he's Lightning naming Sky. active like getting work. Yeah, all from the class. Mm -hmm. yeah. How can people try to sign up? How can people get in touch? How can people try to book private lessons? Is there any? email number that they can um, contact they can hit the website msda act msdacting.com msdacting.com we're gonna yep. throw that up on the interview and but. have a link and make sure the people rush that smooth smooth and they're gonna put in a uh you know uh referred by the culture no vulture and i'm gonna get my percentage yes sir i got you you know <laughs> i got you but you also get a discount <laughs> because of the code uh, -huh. uh but but nah man so uh 
this coffee be having me cough. I don't normally, <laughs> yo, normally every episode I'm drinking alcohol, but you can see your your company matters. You know, I'm be around savages. That's they just fact. be pouring henny. <laughs> and today is just me and Mark and we're drinking coffee. Yes. Yeah, man. Your company yes, matters. It does. Pops. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, but nah, we're gonna go into a segment, the culture vulture of the week. Um, you know, I'll be hitting wifey and wifey be helping me with these segments. I like to just, you know, intertwine what's going on with everything. Like when I created the show, bro, it's the culture, no vulture. And the culture is what we eat, what we see, what mm -hmm. we listen to, yeah, movies, television, church, all of that. Yeah. It's really everything that we grow up on as a minority, black, Spanish, Asian. Like it's not just for, you know, black people, Spanish people or why not? Nah, this is this is for anybody that has a culture. Yeah. And you know, we expose all culture vultures. Yeah. You know, if you out here making some sushi and that ain't what you do, yeah. <laughs> you a culture vulture of the of their culture. But uh, but but culture vulture of the week, uh NYC congestion pricing board recommends $15 toll to curb traffic. So passenger cars, drivers paying tunnel tolls may get five dollar credit. Tolling plan to raise one billion a year for transit upgrades. Transit upgrades, so they want to upgrade the transit system. Mm -hmm. I still see crackheads and mm -hmm. piss and yep. garbage. They, yo, bro, they upgrade. They begin new trains, but putting them <laughs> on dirty tracks. Yeah, what's the sense of that, bro? Yeah. So, so yeah. culture vulture of the week is the NYC, just the city, the councilman, the just everybody. Like y'all complain about everything, but do nothing. Yep. The smell of it, the garbage, the rats. Yep. You know, I still see the rats. They're getting bigger every month. Yes. Um, it still smells like garbage. Um, thank God the weed is kind of like pushing the garbage smell out. Yeah. You know, I know them. He, he said, "Oh, it smells like weed." I rather weed than shit. I rather, yeah. That's um, a fact. so you know, shout outs, shout outs. Well, no shout outs to uh the NYC people uh, raising tolls and charging people more money when y'all can't even figure out what needs figuring. Word. Um, but yeah, man, that's our culture vulture Word. of the week. And uh, I just wanted to get into some more. So, yo, voice actor. Mm -hmm. um, Monster, right? Yeah. You did some voice acting on Monster, Inc. Mm -hmm. and Finding Nemo. Yeah. Um, what's easier, bro? What do you consider easier? On-screen acting, voice acting, you know, what, what do you think is an easier process for you? I would say uh, vo it's different because voice acting, like, if you get on a, a animated movie, right, mm -hmm. it depends on the point in the project that you're doing the voiceover that determines how easy or how difficult it is. Okay. Because sometimes you could do the voiceover work in the sketching phase. So all of the... You don't even all get of the to art see. is just illustrations okay. that's not colored in. It's not animated yet, mm. so it's like storyboarded. So you get to create the voice and and the feel and the tone and all of that. Mm. There's other times when you're doing the voiceover work and the animation is done. So not only do you have to be accurate and try to match like the cadence that the character's mouth is moving in the animated sense, but you also have to match. The emotion that the character looks like is is displaying through the animation. Mm -hmm. So if my character don't look pissed, but just a little angry, mm -hmm. I can't sound pissed because mm -hmm. it won't add up. The black and white gives you more opportunity to be free to create. Because now they animate revolved around how you really around do your it. voice. Yep. Opposed to you having to match up mm -hmm. and play ball with Jordan. Yes. 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 Cause if you don't do it right, we can oh, obviously tell that we don't feel it. Yeah, you're gonna be over there. You're gonna be there all day. Yeah. All day. So what's the what's the so the earlier stages, if you're part of the full film, you get that opportunity to, to really be free. But if you come for a short portion of the film, then you it's probably already mocked up and it ready depends. to go. It depends. Cause like sometimes you could be one of the main characters, but like you just got cast it late. Mm. They focused on these core scenes with these actors. Mm -hmm. They had this actor, their schedule fell through, so they wasn't able to get them. And now they're looking for a replacement. But as that's happening, everything else is still going on. Yeah. So now they find this person, but it's a six months, a year after everyone else recorded. Mm -hmm. And now there's way more animation work that has been done on the film. Mm -hmm. And now that person that gets hired, yeah, you a main character, but like you got in the mix late. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it depends. Sometimes they want to do all of the additional voices and everything up front. Mm -hmm. So you'll be a character that... Don't have much, yeah. But you still live for like the storyboarding process, so you don't got to worry about the animation. Mm -hmm. It depends, bro. 
got it. It depends. What's the um? What's the what, what's the length? If if you're a main character in a in a, in, in an you know animated film, and how long does that process Four take? Four five days. Oh, it's over. It's quick. Oh my god! It's what? It's quick for main character. Yes. Four five days. Because <laughs> you got you go to the studio. I'm in the wrong Let's business, say, nigga. I was on um. I did a show called Fatherhood. It was Bill Cosby show on Nickelodeon. Okay. And I was the voice of the son. I would go in and we would do a full two to three episodes in maybe like two, three hours. Maybe like two, three hours, four hours max mm -hmm. and be done with it. Be done with it. That's when crazy. Eddie Murphy and him did Shrek, I think it took him like five days to record all of it. And Eddie got like three to five minutes or something like that. That's crazy, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That money's different. That money's different. So them playmakers who's doing them animated films back to back to back. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. Man. Yep. How do you get into it, bro? You just like how do you is it the same process getting into acting as voice acting? Is yeah, pretty much. Same, same process. process. Same process. Need do you agent. audition for voice acting as much as you do? No, I don't really do voice acting anymore. You don't really rock with it? Nah. Why not? It's just got to be the right film. It got to be the right film, of course. Yeah. And just like, I don't know. I just, it got to a point where I had did it. And then I'm just never Yo, really de clap it up for, for, for challenging yourself, man. This, <laughs> this dude has made so much money and has been doing it for so long <laughs> that he's just like, you know, check is cool, but like, I'm challenging myself now. Yeah. But I know, you know, you say it might be a month or a week that you, yo, pop, fuck it, let's get the check. Yeah. <laughs> but but nah, you know. man, that's that's ill, bro. And and we're gonna get into to what the people, you know, some people, you know, the fans really want me to ask you about, which they've probably heard you talk about a million times. But I do want to ask, you know, get rich or die trying. Mm -hmm. How long was that process, man? You played fifty yo. throughout the whole film. You killed it. Like Appreciate killed it, it. like Appreciate you know, you killed a lot of films. Anything you do, bro, you do it at a high level, and it's great because I've never looked at you as Mark. Mm -hmm. When I'm watching it, it's always you're the character, yeah. and I'm able to separate you. You know, it's hard to separate mm -hmm. motherfuckers you know from yeah who they who they are. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I'm just able to really enjoy your performance, and it never feel like. This nigga mop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or Word. or you do something else and it feel like, oh, that nigga 50. Yeah. Like, nah, like you're always who you are in your yeah. films, bro. And um, I mean, before that, even even when you did losing Isaiah with <sighs> baddest <laughs> Halle Berry. Did you ever yo, when I was younger, I was in the dressing room and I saw a nip slip uh from Nivea. You ever, did you see a nip slip? Did you catch a nip slip? Not that I remember. Yeah, how how old were you for that joint? You were I super was three. young. Three? I was three and I turned four God. during shooting. I turned four during shooting. How long were you yeah. shooting for that joint? Like uh five months. Damn. About five months in Chicago. Do you remember anything? I remember I remember certain things. Little. I remember certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. yeah. certain memories from it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I just wanted to know if you've seen the nip slip. <laughs> Hallie was so bad, son. She was so bad. So. <laughs> so that was a co-star throughout the whole film. It was just it was you and her, right? Yeah, I was a uh, I was a lead. It's crazy. Yeah, I was Young a lead. Boy, three years old. Mm -hmm. Like, what did you do before that? That was big. Like, I, I, before that, I had done um a Canon camera commercial. So it was only was commercial like work. Yeah, that popped Luzon it Isaiah off. Was my first that movie. popped it off. That was my first movie. It's crazy. First movie. It's crazy. Yep. You did the Tracy Morgan show. Yo, bro, mm -hmm. I, I, yo, bro, I was just really diving into your work for a minute. Yeah. And you did the Tracy Morgan show. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people came from that show, were on that show, part of that show from, yeah. you know, Pops from the Wayne's Brothers to Cat Williams, mm -hmm. to Heavy D, Snoop. Like, a lot of people ran through that show. Yeah. Uh, were you, uh, and, and I got to go back and watch it. I'm going to be real. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Oh, I, I don't even fucking remember. I forgot yeah. you even did that joint. Yeah. Were you like a main character? Yeah, I was Tracy's son. It's crazy. How old regular. were you on that joint? I was like, how old was I? I was maybe like 14. Oh, okay. Like 13, You're older 14. now. So now you can really remember, take in, and yeah. experience at this point. Yeah. How was that joint? That had to be hilarious. It was, bro. it was, 
Man, that joint was dope. It was dope, man. Yeah, we were a family, dog. Uh, we were a family. How long that joint go down for? How long? How we long? We shot for um. How many seasons? We shot was for it? yeah. We only lasted a season. Got it. We only lasted a season. Some things happen. Gotta go back and watch the season. Some things happen with the 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 on set higher ups, mm. and um, Sour we were supposed shit. to get renewed, and then when that happened, it was like, yeah, nah, cancel. And it was doing well. Yeah. Damn. Yep. And then the next season was going to be dope. How's the relationship with Tracy? It's good. It's good. And, and say what you was going to say. I'm sorry. I be cutting motherfuckers off no, sometimes. No, no, no. You good. Missing the, the, next, the juiciness. So the next season was going to be fire because they were like taking a step in the involvement of the show. Mm-hmm. So the first season, Tracy was just a, a he worked in a, a, a mechanic. He was a mechanic. Mm-hmm. Season two, he was, he, was he got this job as a sports agent towards the end of season one. Mm. So it was going to be like big celebrity guests mm. every episode. So we ended with Terrell Owens in his prime as a as the guest yeah. in one episode. Yeah. And then Shaq. Wow. And then and Snoop. That's why Snoop was on the and show. Cut he the was the guest. And then we So our next season was about to be like different. You know, yeah. but and 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 at that time Tracy ain't have it in him to like, you know, do it himself you yeah. know yeah it wasn't that it tracy was, morgan he was still this is early i mean this is like 15 20 years ago yeah you know this is yeah. a while ago so this was a minute ago like yeah, yeah I, I don't yeah he didn't have that yet but it would have been dope if he did nowadays mm-hmm. you know this was dope about like netflix hulu prime and all these things yeah. you know somebody and also too depending on who owned the rights of the show and all that you know it could get technical yeah but nowadays it's just dope to see even like a dude like Dave Chappelle mm-hmm. who can't be canceled. Yeah. You know, it's yep. like you still have an outlet as long as you can shoot your own special. Yep. You know, you can put it out and 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 you know, it's it's really dope to see how much freely and independent creators mm-hmm. are in the next 10 years. You yeah. know what I'm saying? People being able to own their stuff and but you know how it goes. They're gonna move the goalposts. Yeah. Because that's what they do. Yep. You know, yep. S- something's gonna happen. For you know? sure. Yeah, you're gonna have to get For some sure. type of freaking, you know, vaccine to get it. A- <laughs> it's just whatever, <laughs> man. Uh, it's it's just always gonna be the goalpost being moved because yeah. that's how that's how it is. You yep. know, as more as we develop, as more as the people develop, mm-hmm. they gotta also get stronger. Yeah. So yep. you know, everybody can win. Not at all, my dog. Yep. Hey, so now I'm gonna give you some options, bro. We're gonna play culture or vulture. But I'm gonna give you two people. But you're gonna tell me who the culture. You're gonna tell me who the vulture. Mm-hmm. And look. They might both be culture. Okay. They might both be vultures. Okay. But for the sake of the game. Pick one. Pick one. All right. Say that. No, no hard feelings, nobody. It's just Say love, that. man. So we got Jack Harlow or excuse me. Or G Easy. Who's the culture? Who the vulture? Ooh. That's a tough one. It's tough to Um well, it's tough for you. Yeah, because I'll say Harlow is culture. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to Harlow. I'll say Harlow. I've is seen culture. footage of like Harlow out there performing for three people. Yeah. You know, I've never really yeah. seen that footage for G. G is, yeah. I'm sure he probably has it. Yeah. But if you do G, let's see the process. Yeah. You know, I, I seen the I seen Harlow go from dork to like America's sweetheart. hmm You know, pause. He honest too. That's what I like about Harlow. Yeah, just being himself. He's yeah. he trolling niggas. Yeah. Like he honest. Not even trying. Yeah. You know, he knows what makes people uncomfortable. He knows what people, and he just like, yeah. oh, that's what you want to see. Cool. Yeah, you know, so I rock with, I rock with him. I I, I do. I, I give him culture. You know, unfortunately, yeah. GEZ, you are the vulture. Yeah. 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 And uh, <laughs> yeah. next one. Uh-huh. Uh, and my wifey came up with these, you know, she be helping me again. Okay. You know, that's good. It's that's a team good. effort. You feel me? Family you business. Be. You got to look, look, dude, men out there, men, mm-hmm. if you're a man, if you're a real man, yes, right. When you're creating something or you have something for yourself, you know, and you have a significant other, a wife, or you know, soon to be wife, you know, somebody that's really a part of your union. Whatever you create, try to make them a part of your process in mm-hmm. some way, shape, or form. You know, Amen. even if it's little, yep. even if it's big, it can be as small as helping you with segments. It can mm-hmm. be as big as showing up and holding the camera. Yep, but. Allow them to be a part of your process. Bring them into what you're doing. Because not only is that going to help your relationship, but the Bible does say 
two or more. Yes. So, you know, wifey yes. does be assisting me and just, you That's know, what's up. just engaging and giving me ideas and dope questions. And I'd be like, oh, it's yeah. really flop. Yeah. I do be stush sometimes, like, girl, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> but, you know, she do be killing it. That's and uh, shout outs to wifey. Um, Oprah or Gail? Who's Gail? Is it the Gail chubby is, one? I don't know what Gail look like. She's the black woman, right? A, I guess. I think it's the chubby one. Yeah, like Oprah just Oprah's handed like over right the hand. baton or something like yeah. that. I think so. Hold on, man. I can't be speaking I don't, un- I don't know uneducated. Who, who is Gail? Talk host. Yeah, the closer the vulture was like Oprah Yeah, man. Gail. Okay, so Gail King. Gail King, the co-host of CBS. Just so you can see her face. Oh, okay. That's yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah. Ooh. Um yeah. Oprah's culture, bro. Oprah's culture. Like, you Oprah's know, Oprah be culture. doing some questionable yeah. shit lately. Yeah. But, but, yeah, it's color purple, Oprah. This, like, this Oprah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but you get a house. Yeah, you get yeah, a house. That, like, Oprah, no. <laughs> <laughs> that know, is that the culture. culture. And yeah, Gail, I ain't never really seen you. Yeah. yeah I, you know. If we told Gail and Oprah to have a baked mac and cheese contest, mm-hmm. I think Oprah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Would definitely sure. beat Gail. For sure. Gail would be spilling the fucking milk and shit. Yeah. And don't I'll know which it cheese. Like, it would look like cereal. Yeah, it would be it yeah. would definitely not not have the Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna yeah, have it's that. Not, not gonna have that. I think Oprah gonna figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, man. So y'all got it. Facts. Uh Coach of Vulture. Uh I got like one more, two more, because I gotta get into your world, bro. Bad. Wouldn't it wouldn't be right if I didn't, you know. Um Bad. Michael B. Jordan mm-hmm. or Jonathan Mayers. Um, is it Majors? Majors. Majors. Jonathan Majors. Ah. He's been wild on lately. I'd seen the video of him throwing his chick in the car. But it's okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't really like, you know, but that's why I look, man. Yeah. Nothing wrong with biracial dating. However, if you are biracial dating, you have to understand, like, the happy mediums of arguments. You got to mm-hmm. understand when, you know, it's just passion and it's not yeah. really real physical. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like, you know, uh, sometimes you got to... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ain't gotta hit you me. We know we don't get physical, but sometimes you, you gotta, gotta yo, that quick, shake some that, sense in a baby. Quick maybe, real maybe quick, yeah. That, sometimes you gotta. I was trying to. Hook yeah, you. but but after three <laughs> shakes is is you know don't shake more than three times, brother. Because then it could you can break a neck. Uh, you know some some shit can That's get serious. OD. But like, yeah. you see this? I, Look, bro. If you do more than this, then the means stop. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, man. That's so OD. so culture of vulture. Uh, uh, Michael B. Jordan, uh, Jonathan Majors. I'm a, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say Mike. It's culture, man. Mike been around yeah. for Mike been around yeah. for yeah. yeah. Come on, you know, Wire, yeah. come on, Chronicle, come all on. that. He come been on. he been here for a minute. Come on, so, where you stripes that, homie? And now, I feel like Jonathan Majors is a dope actor. He's, you know what I'm saying? Cool. I'm not taking nothing from him. I he's think fly. he's smooth, but it's just like, I and I I feel like that's just a thing in our industry, bro. And I know you could relate to this, like. Even in like basketball, right? People try to replace the old with the new too soon. This is boy's rookie season, and you saying that he's on Steph's level. How are you saying that? You know, this is so crazy. this is KD's first year taking a scoring title, and you saying that he's the best scorer that the league has ever seen. Like, relax. Wait until a man has the longevity that the people you comparing him to had. Mm-hmm. Because of anything, we've seen that certain people, they'll have great moments, but that is not greatness. Mm-hmm. There's a difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And Jonathan Majors, he's been killing it recently. But Michael B has been in the industry for a long time, and his career has grown, and I think his versatility is dope. Mm-hmm. And he he's a real dude. God, yo, God is worth some mysterious ways. I, I was just... Forgot what I was doing. So I taking a piss or something. And a question came to me and I wrote it down on my phone. I was like, I got to ask him this. Yeah. And it just goes to what you just said. Why do you think in entertainment, in, you know, in our culture and what we do, music, film, whatever, you have to be constantly, you, and, and hold on, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I got stuck. You have to constantly prove ourselves over and over like you have mm-hmm. to constantly prove ourselves yeah. over and over and motherfuckers just don't never like like you said get to sit mm-hmm. with something or, or sit with the talent and watch them evolve it's like you always just down your back why do you think it's like that people just got short short attention spans short appreciation for the art don't remember things like 
And and I think the bigger issue is that as long as you play in somebody else's game, you got to make sure you're abiding by their rules constantly. Yeah. Right? But when you say, you know what? All right, that game was cool. That game was cool. That mm-hmm. game was cool. I learned enough. Let me go create my own game. You get to now operate by your rules. 1,000%. So, and I, I just think, like, that's the difference between – that's one of the biggest reasons why – that a lot of entertainers have to be in this rat race mm-hmm. because you on someone else's turf playing a game where they dictate your fate, your future, your jobs, your your relevancy, yeah. you know? And as long as you stay in that, you're going to struggle, bro. When you look at people like Adam Sandler, when you look at people like Chris Rock, Kevin mm-hmm. Hart, Will Packer, Tyler Perry, you can say what you want about them, yeah. but they got their own and they play by their own rules. Mm-hmm. And nobody can take that away from them. 100%. Nobody can say that, you know, people might be able to say, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I feel I feel like Ryan Coogler is a, a way better director than Tyler Perry and have their opinion on that. Mm-hmm. But they say in Tyler's name in comparison to all the new directors because Tyler is a dude that created his own lane and he's living in that. You know, and I, yeah. I just, I feel like that's the biggest thing, bro. People, they, they love you when they love you, and they get over you quick. As long as something new, once that novelty wear off, they want something new, and that's just the world we live in. Like, yeah, that's our, that's our system. It's always a new thing. I bought the iPhone fourteen. <sighs> A few months later, 15 yeah. out. Oh, you got the 14? Yeah, nigga, I just bro. bought this. Uh, that's what I'm saying, nigga. It's like, <laughs> wait, how many more cameras can you fit? <laughs> you feel me? On the like, back of this motherfucker. That's what they do. Like, it's that's just, what they do. it's just always one to pee. And it's not even necessarily evolving because sometimes people got to sit with thing. things and get great at it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, evolving is great. But also, you know, I feel like back in the day, it was spaced out the right way. Like mm-hmm. phones would be out for two years yes. before a new yeah, one. Or, the only thing that happened is maybe a different color wave or yeah. limited edition yeah. joint, you know, Tony Hawk version would come out. But it'd be yep. the same phone and it'd give you time to really understand how to use it. Yeah. And you know they just be changing the screen and moving the. I don't nigga. I don't need you to move my camera from the top left to the bottom right to like you know just let me Word. sit with it for a little bit. Word. But let again, me learn the features you know, first. Yeah, but you know, learn the features first. That's they don't want people to get. Setting. They don't want people to be great at anything. They want people to just be you know. They want to pick who they pick, and who they pick is who we who we pick. We want that power. We want that control. And who we control. Yeah, and yeah. then when we get tired of them, we pick somebody new. That's it. Switch them out. Yep. That's why, you know, you know, there's no salt and pepper, you know, black or Spanish people in the music business. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of salt and pepper black or Spanish people that have long acting careers and can mm-hmm. act when they're salt and pepper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh that's just the name of the game, bro. Move yeah, the bro. goalposts and yep. make it as un- as difficult as possible. And you know, I also, you know, I I I have always argued with my partner, be like, yo, but look, honestly, G, we ain't even, you know, we ain't never been out here running around free for hundred years. Like if mm-hmm. you want to think about it, like yeah. it's only 2023. So it's 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 not even been a hundred years where we can really like, mm-hmm. all right, what up? So yeah. we'll see what it is in the next hundred years. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, we we be here for another 60, 70. Yeah. You know, and, and, and we'll be able to see it along the way as well. But you know. Yeah, man. But that's why God gave us kings. And we can give them all this information. Yeah. By the time they are age, they just, they 60. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's the goal. Yep. But, uh, yeah, now nah, you good, G. So we, we were talking about the uh, 50 Cent Get Rich or Die Trying. You know, that's a, 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 a hood staple. And I was talking to you earlier about, like, you know, I know the SAG joint, the agreement with SAG just, just came and um you know they reached the agreement so everybody back to work and i asked you i was like yo bro it's a lot of work out there so he's like yeah but you know i know you're selective with your work very right what 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 is the direction and so and, and they don't know that your mentors are, are dudes like denzel washington mm-hmm. uh, shit like morgan freeman's the like the goat coats you mm-hmm. know and and i know one personally it was denzel I don't, you know, we didn't really talk on any, any others other than that. Eddie was the biggest. Eddie. My biggest. Yeah, you did play. You did play his son in, in Haunted, Haunted Mansion, Mansion as well. Yeah. Um. So those were two of your mentors, Eddie and Denzel. Eddie Murphy. 
and Denzel Washington. I'm going to say that for the algorithms. <laughs> Got to catch the full names. <laughs> but uh, what's something that each of them left you with that, that you know, I know it's a million things, but like what's something that, you know, you may hear in the morning every day when you wake up in your head, Denzel, <laughs> you niggas want to fuck. <laughs> like, like what's, what's something you got from both of them, you know, that you'll either pass on or just keep for yourself? I would say like the main lesson, being a professional. Yeah. A lot of like, a lot of people get into it and they they don't understand what it is. Mm -hmm. You're a professional. You got to show up a certain way all the time. All the time. And in your profession, you're the one that is responsible for where you go. Mm -hmm. And you got to always be mindful of that responsibility. You know, like, yeah, you booked this movie, but you don't bring it. You are you difficult to work with on set. You late. You curse this person out, that person out. Guess what? That affects your next one. Mm -hmm. So, like, just the... Uh, the, the 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 mindset shift of understanding that this is a job. You are a professional. NBA players, if you don't work out in the offseason, you may have gotten the crazy contract extension yeah. last season because you put in all of this work, you yeah. get the extension. But now if you don't yeah. put in that work in the offseason, if you start missing team planes and getting into trouble and showing up late and blah, 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 well, guess yeah. what? After this contract is up, all right, out of here, bro. You out of here. Yeah. You know, you get in the yeah. vet minimum yeah. for a team that don't even got playoff hopes. Mm -hmm. And then before you know it, yeah. you're in China. And and I feel like people need to practice it in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Don't just be a professional at work. Be a professional in life. You know? You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? Like, like I ain't even going to lie to you. I want every uh, human experience that I, I have with another human mm -hmm. to be as pleasant as possible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want yeah. them to always walk away with a great memory. Yeah. Even if it's us walking through the same door and me saying, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like every experience that I go through with another human being, another soul that walks this earth, I just want it to be a pleasant experience because people don't even understand how deep that is. Yeah. Like people don't even understand how close we all really are. Yeah. They just don't get it. They yeah. just don't get it. They just scratching the surface. But like we both are walking and are controlling these bodies and mm -hmm. we're one of the same source. Yeah. And people just don't get it, bro. Yeah. They they so blind to how we look, how we talk, that they really think they're something different. Yep. Like people really think they something different, bro. Yeah. Like if you strip both of us butt ass naked, mm -hmm. we all are the same we're fucking the same. thing. We're the same. You know what I'm saying? We're if you all feed us we breathe fucking the same beans way. Yeah. all day, we all going to shit all night. Yep. We're the same, bro. Yeah. Like, it's as simple as I can say it. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, man, how, how do you go about experiences with people? Even, you know, work, on the train, you know. Are you antisocial? Are you nah. social? I, um, I'm a little bit of both, bro. Like, introvert, outrovert. Yeah, like, yeah. I... I is it outrovert? Is that the extrovert. word? Extrovert. I know what you meant, though, so I wasn't going to put you on blast. Yeah, nah, you you put, I blast myself, bro. Yeah. It is what it is, man. You're never too old to learn. That's a fact. And That's I knew it, but I just I needed to be confirmed. I know you knew it. You just said something yeah, yeah. crazy. That's all. And I knew I said it crazy, but I just said it. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit of both, because I'm a friendly dude. Like I, If anybody ever addresses me, I'm never going to act funny. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I don't care if... If it's a person, I can I may not even remember you, but if you yeah. come up to me and you like, yo, what's good, bro? How you been? I'm always gonna give you warm energy. Yeah. Because just because I don't necessarily I meet thousands of people, mm -hmm. I may yeah. not exactly remember you, mm -hmm. but the way that you're addressing me, I know that whatever it was, yeah. it left an impression. It was a good experience. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm not now, because in this moment, Negating like, that. oh yo, what's good, bro? I'm not that kind of person at all. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not necessarily the type though to just go talk to people. Yeah. Unless I'm like, I do it when I'm, I do it for acting. Like yeah. I'll address people and I'll ask people questions and stuff mm -hmm. just to like meet different personalities, you for know, because sure. then it helps me yeah. with my art when I'm ready to play this character or that character. 1000%. But then also I'm, I'm the type of person that like, I've seen dudes arguing with their girls in the Bronx going off, like mm -hmm. wilding. And I'll walk up like, yo, 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 you tripping boys around the corner? Like, chill, bro. Yeah. I'm that kind of dude too. 
You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, see a, a chick crying because some dude is yelling at her or got her by the arm. And I'm not no superhero nigga. Yeah. But I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be like, yo, I'll be like, yeah. yo, y'all good? Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not going to be the yeah. miss, are you okay? And, yeah, and you know yeah, what yeah. I'll be like, yo, y'all good? Y'all straight, like, yeah. yo, whatever it is, y'all, y'all can deal with that different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah, 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 yeah. superheroes, yeah, yeah, you know, get, we, yeah, yeah, superheroes we know what happened to them sometimes. <laughs> you know, I ain't trying to be that. Not at all. But yeah. I, I, I can yeah. be extroverted. Mm-hmm. at times but the one thing about me is like i always try to show love yeah. people are human beings bro my girl was asking me literally yesterday because mm-hmm. she i was in a supermarket and i was talking to two of the women that work at the cash register and they were talking to me about my little man and before i left mm-hmm. i went out of my way to turn around and be like all right y'all have a good night take care right so she's like why do you always do that and i'm like what she's like you go out of your way mm-hmm. to like speak to certain people yeah. and include everybody and i'm like because I know them, we was having a conversation. Like on, even in the gym, the the Hispanic workers come in, the come Mexican on, workers, man. and they we cleaning people, up. Son. And I always, hey, how you doing? Having a good day? Oh yeah, come hi, on, man. It's hey, take care. To Have a good love, one. Son, that it's vibration to, to the earth love. is good, bro. They people, people act like your job defines you. Your nah. job don't define nah. you. It's so caught up in social status, rate. bro. That's all that's it defines, it. bro. That's all but your it pay is. grade still don't even de- de- define how much it, money you... Because motherfuckers are stupid. You feel me? Motherfuckers are stupid. You feel me? So people don't even really... You know, that don't even matter. But yeah. like... Yeah. Man, just... And the reason why we talking about this is because I just want people to think about their next experience with another human being. Mm-hmm. Make it nice. Make it a good one, man. Yep. I ain't going front... And I talk about it on the show and I'm an advocate for, you know, I'm not a doctor, a scientist, but, you know, I have occasionally, you know, not abusing it because I know it's a plant, it's a sacred plant, but I, I've been doing mushrooms here and there. Mm-hmm. And um, it's been really helping me as a person yeah. in terms of, uh, you know, me just being able to be me completely, mm-hmm. you know, and not be subjected to my surroundings or anything around or how people treat me. It's just me going with the universe at this point. Yeah. And um just learning a lot, bro. It's 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 you know scary and it's also exciting to get older. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's a multitude of 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 emotions. But um the are excitement factors because I I I'm so excited to see how I develop yeah. the next five, ten years, how I think what I'm into because my interest in all of that is changing, bro. Mm -hmm. My temperament, things that bother me, things that don't bother me, you know, everything is evolving and, um, it's dope. Yeah. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope how how God got this set up for us to see the Mm -hmm. evolution of ourselves. Yeah. You know, because people meet me now, bro, that knew me 10, look, if you knew me like 15 years ago, (laughs) I'm not that same person. (laughs) So like when you approach me, like just come off regular and calm and cool because I'm not, Whoever you thought I was, mm-hmm. or who I thought I was, yep. you know, this is I'm I've evolved. <coughs> so, you know, even with you, yeah, like do people who like that know you ten years ago, fifteen years ago, come up and think you on the same shit, and you got to kind of like let them know, yeah, like sometimes, yeah, sometimes I'm not that happens no more, bro. That happens. Yeah. But even like you was talking earlier about like day ones, right? Mm-hmm. And I like for me, if you got a day one, it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Having a good, uh, having a day one and it's a good thing, that means that both of you guys have grown, both of y'all have grown to where your friendship can still exist. Yeah. The bad side of having a day one is that if yeah. both of you guys may not have grown and y'all still may be the same people y'all was mm-hmm. at 12, 13, 15, 16, at 30. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We supposed yeah. to grow. The things you used to do at 13, coming over to each other's house and sitting on the couch all day, yeah, talking, yeah. playing games. What? If you still doing that at 30 and that is the basis of your friendship, yeah. y'all haven't grown, bro. What you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah. we went from talking in the crib to watching fights to now fishing to out in LA doing business together on, you to you hitting me when, when something was going on. I'm hitting yeah. you when something is going yeah. on. You go off, form your own thing. I go yeah. off and form my own thing. Yeah. And because of that, we have an understanding. We understand each other. And when we the last time we friends. seen each other, bro? Bro, I haven't seen you in... It's over a what, year, like, a year and a half, two years. What is it, like, like two a year, years. two years? We've the talked last time here was and there. At my crib in, um, in Yo, bro, Long Island, the, right? The, the, uh, 
Was that yeah. the last time? Yeah, that was the last time, time when I pulled up on you. Hell yeah. yeah, when I pulled up to the crib and we was watching the game. That was yeah. like two years ago. That was two years ago. But the average listener look at this and be like, damn, they really like yeah, rock they, with each other all the time. These niggas live in the nah, same building bro, or Our experiences, <laughs> our, 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 you know, our, our days that we've been able to vibe and like, you know, it's just yeah. been really dope ones. And, yeah. And, that's the true meaning of friendship. That is, That's bro. the true meaning of brothers is that you don't necessarily have to be around someone every day, talk every day. Mm -hmm. But whenever you do see him, you pick up exactly where you left off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of your growth and, and what you're Appreciate doing. It, and, um, you, bro. Yeah, you're not a robot. You're not a clone. Nah. You're not drugged out. Yo. You're not... You ain't lose your faith. No. Nah. You're not nah. hate yourself. None of that. You're not your <laughs> SD card ain't glitching. <laughs> ain't glitching. <laughs> nah, you ain't glitching, yeah, bro. Nah. And, and that comes from having a strong foundation, yeah. dope parents, and much faith. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. For the people that don't yeah. know, you know, my brother is, is is highly, you know, into his faith and what he believes. And that's why you see him here today, the man he is, man. And yeah. uh yeah, bro. We always got to give glory yeah, to the Most High, whatever you name, That's whatever you call him. I don't care what you call him. <laughs> but whatever, whatever source that you know is giving you some type of guidance and power, yep. you know. Pop yep. Smoke. You think Pop Smoke the new 50? Was he the new 50? Rest in peace. Being um, so close to 50 and seeing 50 and hearing 50, do you feel like that was like 50 reincarnated? Nah. Not at all. Nah. Two different niggas. Yeah. Pop Smoke was, he was talented. I think he yeah. he had a talented sound, mm -hmm. but 50 was different, bro. Did you know 50 was going to kill you when you showed up on set that day to do the power joint? Yo, or did he so, like throw it up on you? I'm going to kill you too, son. No, no, no. When I got the when I got the new episode, mm -hmm. I'm reading through it and I'm like, yo, this episode is good. Get to the part. I'm like, all right. I'm in the pool hall. <laughs> oh, I'm talking a fifth in the pool hall. All right, bet. Tommy pull up. What this nigga doing? Oh, these <laughs> niggas do be dirty, son. I was like, yo. Yo, did you think it was going to be like a one day? You thought you was going to be on a joint for a little bit? Like I was supposed to be on for longer, but I had another project I was doing. Got it. And it kind of like, you know what I'm saying? So like, you was like, nigga, you couldn't leave a loose end. Maybe you know, I'll come like, back next season was, or something. I, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, what yeah. the fuck, fifth? Yeah. You was going to kill nigga. I said I could do it. I didn't say I could die. Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was um. It, it, when I read it, I was like, "Oh!" Ho, ho. If if Fifty hits you, I know you on a different route with mm -hmm. with how you know the, the work that you want to work on. You know, mm -hmm. your actor, your artist, your painter. So the type of pictures and inspiration and things that you want to do, you 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 on a different route, right? Mm -hmm. But if Fifty came to you with another hood classic, mm -hmm. right, a classic, yeah, and he like, "Yo, look, I got this show. I want you to do the main role now. It's gonna mm -hmm. go four or five seasons. Like I want you to, you know." Mm -hmm. Is that something you would look forward to? I or is that am, something you'd be like, look, bro, give that to somebody else? Because nothing's wrong with that either. I would do it. If 50 say, if 50 comes to me, because and just because I know how 50 is, mm -hmm. if 50 comes to me and he's like, yo, I got this and I want you to do this, I'm doing it. Yeah. And it's just because 50, Get Rich or Die Trying was my first classic of our culture yeah like that you know what i'm saying hell yeah and i played 50 and mm -hmm. that did a lot for my career so that now regardless of the the, the direction i'm on mm -hmm. for him to now come to me and pretty much say like yo i need you for this i'll never turn my nose up at somebody like that yeah you know because it's like i may say yo just this scene, like, could we change that? Yo, this, could we do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to be like, yo, that's no longer my direction, bro. I'm sorry. Nah. Like, nah, you, you help me. You help me. We're going to make it what it need to be. And if, I think, and that's, yeah. that's people's problem, bro, Yeah, is that they benefit from people mm -hmm. and they, they grow to a certain point and then those same people now, they don't got nothing for them. Mm-hmm. Oh, that you know, yeah. I moved on from that. Oh, I'm no, I'm here with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. like, bro, I don't care where I'm at in life. If you call me and you at you say, yo, I need you. For, all right, bro. Yeah. What, what we need? What we? I always say this, bro. Extended lifelines extend your lifeline. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, the more people that you help elevate and 
grow higher, if they got something that you can help with and it'll help them get to a next level or to keep them afloat or to whatever, mm -hmm. the more people around you that you have winning or the more people that you know that you can call yeah. that's winning is the better for you, my G. Yeah. It's the better for you, bro. Yep. Because this race, this is a this is a marathon. This is a lot. No, you know, Nip, rest in peace, called it a marathon for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because he knew it was long. Yep. You know, I told my wife the other day, I said, damn. I said, baby, life is life is short, but it's also long at the same. I said, we gotta do this yeah. for another 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. I'm like, she's like, that's why we gotta make the right decisions. And I'm like, you damn right. Yeah, bro. Because we I can't keep doing this. Yeah. You know what yeah. this is. Yeah. This is this. Yeah. Everybody know what this? Yo. Like, this is rough. This is long. This is not healthy. I was like, damn. Yeah. I got to stay mentally long, strong enough to like, woo, shout outs to my mom and pops. Word. Doing that whole 18, 21. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> shout outs to you because yeah. this is a long, long marathon. Yeah. That you got to, mm -hmm. and going through your own shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, yeah. I got my whole life. That's a fact. But that's a fact. It's one life. Yeah. You know, all to twine, man. Yeah, but man. but that's dope, bro. I just, I, I I know he killed you joint in that episode. I was just like, damn, why my boy get two, three episodes <laughs> of, you know, had a nigga drive off and like, damn, maybe you come back. <laughs> Body you, G. Word. Tommy killed you a 50. 50. All right, yeah, because yeah. I would be like, the 50. white boy ain't killing me. Nigga. Yeah, like, yeah. you killed me. Like, <laughs> nigga, not the white. <laughs> We're oh, not doing that. That we not doing fifth. But uh, shout out to fifty, you know, fifty if you need, you know, look, same little, you know, Spanish thing who can't really speak Spanish, but grew up in the hood. It's like, yo, I got you, son. I got Word. you. I got you. You can kill me. Fuck. <laughs> I just need three minutes, man. That's all I need. So pause. Uh oh, oh, you dude. did brown sugar, son, cultural uh -huh. classic. Yo. Black women love you on the holidays, don't they? I guess so, yeah. Yeah, they love you, yeah. bro. It's every Christmas. That's a fact. Yeah. Man. That's a fact. Yes. Clockwork. Yes, sir. Clockwork. Residuals. Uh huh. How was them checks looking, bro? Because a lot of people were complaining about, you know, and I know you've done a lot of films, a lot of movies that get replays and streams and this, that, the mm -hmm. third. Like, was that an issue for you too? Nah. During the strike, were you like, nah. So when when, when people were striking, you was like, yo, why y'all? What's up with y'all shit? I, I, Maybe you should have picked better. So I'm going to choose my words wisely. <laughs> I just don't understand, like, if I say, yo, if you like, yo, I need you to come. I'm shooting a, I'm shooting a short film. I'm mm -hmm. shooting a film, an independent. I, I need you to pull up and shoot for a day. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. And I'm like, bet. And I do it, shoot it. You go, you sell it. The movie comes out. You made a million off the sale. Yeah. Your budget was twenty grand. For me to now come to you and be like, yo, where the, my, you ain't pay me enough. <laughs> you said yes, right? So, like, I understand what certain actors' squabbles are. And I, and I think that's the, that's the issue that people don't understand with the reality of this industry. Just because you're on TV don't mean you got it, right? Like, you could be on a show. You could do a movie. You could be a, a, a personality. But that doesn't mean that you have enough to where you could sustain yourself full time a long time. So I had an issue with some of the narratives of I did not get paid enough. Mm. For people that was like, you know, my residual checks is small, blah, 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 blah. Fortunately, that is not my reality. Yeah. But that's their that's their reality. And I'm not going, I'm not going to downplay that. Mm. My whole thing with the residuals though was like, you know, when you work on a project that's a network show. And, and this is just understanding the business. If I shoot an independent, mm -hmm. I own it. 1,000%. So now every time that I go and I license it to somebody, that's mm -hmm. a check coming in. So now everybody that's supposed to get residuals will continuously get residuals as long as I'm license, licensing it. Yeah. So if, I, if Lifetime wants to play it, if Hallmark wants to play it, that's a check every time. 1, and those where the residuals come from. Mm -hmm. If I shot a show for NBC... Or I shot a show for TBS yeah. and they don't license to anybody else. There's no ongoing money made for residuals to be cut. Got it. You feel what I'm saying? Now so it's just when, servicing their now network. It's, if somebody rents it 
If somebody yeah. buys the whole season, that's where the you'll real see a PC. Uh-huh. But how many people are going and buying the whole season of a show that came out however long ago? Nah, don't even happen like on that. On Amazon. Yeah, don't you know, you got to have a moment. You got to have like, a moment. Like, if you're an actor or you were in that show and you yeah. have a moment now, then companies would be like, oh, she's trending right now. Mm-hmm. Let's go resurface, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. other show that she did. So, But if NBC yeah. owns the show and NBC yeah. is playing it, there is no money being made off yeah. the sale of the show. Yeah. So you not really going to get residuals. The crazy part to me, though, was how companies was trying to pay people a grand or two for their likeness for their entire life. That's crazy to me. Yeah, I don't feel like that, you know, that wasn't fair. So, But the agents, while- man, the agents got to also, you know, fight more for their clients because if if they knew that that wasn't you know yeah it even with the agents though it's difficult it's also the process too though mark like you gotta you've yeah. been doing this shit since you was three years old mm-hmm. you're now you know an older person doing it as an adult and with that being said you know it took time for you to learn these things and gain yeah. this information and it's like everybody that does it now that's been acting for less than four years less than five years they just want it all now they yeah. want their residual like yo bro it's a line long line of motherfuckers who ain't get shit yeah. from when they acted when they was three or when they was this so you know what yeah. i'm saying so yeah. you know i just feel like people feel like they deserve so much like even some of the actors that i saw complaining about it i was like nigga You've only done one TV show. <laughs> like, no, literally, nigga. Yeah. Like, you complaining about Brazil? Like, like, nigga. Like, you've done one show, gang. But see, and that, the crazy <laughs> thing is, though, that's what um, that's what certain conditions will do, though. It yeah. make people, it make people desperate, you know, to where it's like. And I get it. Mm. I I I get why it affected certain actors. You yeah. know, it's like, yo, here it is. I've spent. This many years of my life trying to get to this place. I've spent this amount of money. I finally get here. Mm-hmm. Y'all pay me this. I do it for the opportunity. But then I'm seeing that y'all have made this much money off of it. And I'm still sitting here struggling. Yeah. So I get it. But that's when I say to people, like, you got to understand the game in order to play it effectively. Come on, Jay. And if it's your first project, it takes time you don't to have learn, certain. Though, son. It takes time to learn, and it takes time to get your weight up. You could have a great rookie season if the rest of your three years is trash before that contract extension comes up. Come on, guess Jay. what? You can't say, "Look, I averaged twenty three in my rookie Come season." On. Yeah, nigga, but the last two seasons, yeah. you averaged fifteen points. Keep like, your head you're down. You're not getting son. the big bag. Keep your head down. You know I know that saying? first so, show might pop off, and you think you're on top of the world, but like, if you keep your head down and just continue to stay exclusive, keep working. You'll last longer. Yeah. Just keep working. Niggas be yeah. out here just trying to, you know, pause, measure their dick before it get hard. It's like, yeah. nigga, like, what are you doing? You but, know, and, and I'm gonna bleep all that. I'm gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> but, but like, you know, niggas be just doing too much, bro. Word. Like, like, what are you doing, son? Let, let, let Shorty come in the room and handle you first. <laughs> you know, yeah, 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 like put in some work, my yo, nigga. <laughs> like, yo. but uh, and then the, the crazy thing too, though, is like, I understand it, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I under, I understand. There's so many talented, dope creatives out there that don't get opportunities, that don't get the exposure that they can. Never that, do that. Uh are fire in their own right and the most they can get is this and after pouring in so much all you get back is breadcrumbs so i get it i i wasn't a person that voted for the strike but i also didn't vote against it because i feel like just because that's not my reality who am i to dictate the truthfulness or to decide the truthfulness of somebody else's experience i just don't know and I'm blessed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Certain people haven't yeah. grown to that part of their blessings. My brother is blessed. So it's like, you know, y'all do what y'all got to do, man. Yeah. I'm going to be in Italy. I don't support or I'm not a, support. I'm going to go to Alaska but... real quick for, for a few. Yo, niggas was losing their motorcycles and dogs, <laughs> nigga, using uh, Italy. Alaska. Talking about what the was... statue was that you said again? <laughs> The pincho de pio. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a blessing, <laughs> dog. It's nah, a blessing, man. but yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad that, that they've come to some sort yeah. of agreement, bro, so we can get back to work. Cause yeah. I seen you touching the, the top of the Alpha <laughs> Tower, and shit. It was beautiful, bro. Yeah. So look, we go. We we. I got a lot more shit, but you thirsty. I'm thirsty. I gotta head to this event. We gonna finish off with guess that line. So I normally do guess them bars. Okay. But we did a limited edition today. Okay. Uh, the actor, uh, you know, edition where you're going to guess that line. Okay. It's going to be we'll lines see. from a movie. Dang. I'm going to act it out. <clears throat> I don't watch a lot of movies. I'm not going to act it out, but I'm going to talk it out. You All know right. what I'm saying? And uh, <sighs> You smoke crack, don't you? Is that, to say uh, like him. is that. You smoke crack, don't you? Pookie, New Jack. 
That is Morgan Freeman as Mr. Clark. Oh, lean dang, on yeah, me. Lean on me. You dang. smoke crack, don't you? I haven't seen Lean on me in forever. Yeah, so that was a good one. Dang. You know. And again, your wife, you sent me these. These were pretty good. Okay. Are <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Why'd you get out the car? Oh, that's I was get coming rich. to protect you. That's get rich. I Baby that. boy, don't grow up too quick. <laughs> that's get rich. That is Mark Jeffries and get rich and die trying. I must have did it right. Because he was like, oh, why'd you get, get out the car? Yeah. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, right I can do this back. shit. Yo, right you know what back. it is? People, and you said this, you said something earlier, like when people figure out what acting really is. Mm -hmm. And I feel like so many people overthink it. Yeah. So many people think it's something more. Like I be looking at certain people and I be like, yo, bro, you're acting too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, and and like I've seen, you know, and I'm like, bro, you're acting too much. Like, nigga, just do it. Yeah. Like, like, see what it is and do it. Yep. And walk in that light. It's as simple as that. You yep. know, it might sound difficult, and I know it's way more to it. Yeah. Way more. Because I'll get knocked on my ass if I think that it's just <laughs> that. But no, but that's you got the just the basis the of foundation. It. You that's know what the I'm foundation saying? Of it. It's it's just that. That's the foundation. Next one. Um in this country. You got to make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the women. Mm. Is that a... In this country, you got to make the money first. Is that Scarface? Or that is, that is Al Pacino, Tony Montana, uh, and Scarface. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. In right. this country, you got to get the money yeah, first. Yeah. Then when you get the money, you get the power. And then when you get the power, then you get the women. Yeah. I, I, I watched it like, yo, recently I watched it like... Twice, bro. I don't know what it is. It's really a good film. Son. It is. It's really a good. It's a it deeper is. story than all the killer, and it's just like yeah. a man who had an unwilling power of succeeding. Mm -hmm. It may have not been the right choice of success, but yeah. there were only limited options coming from where he came from. Yeah. But it was a really good story, yeah. man, and, and a great film. Yeah. You know what? Last time you said that, I was kind of tripping, right? But now you're right. I am crazy, and you know what else? I don't give a fuck. Oh, I don't know that You one. know what? Last time you said that, I was kind of tripping, right? But now, you all right. I am crazy. And you know what else? I don't give a fuck. I don't know. I don't That's Tupac that. and Juice. Okay. You remember when he was okay. like, you, okay. you know what? Okay. You right. Dad, dad, I am dad. crazy. I don't want to sound like a vulture out here, bro. Nah, you good. I don't sound like a vulture you're straight, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're doing good. Like, I, you know, you got, you got... Three out of four, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I didn't act out Pac as well. No, no, no. But you know. So I'm gonna I'm keep it a stack. I haven't seen Juice. 10, 10 12. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It's not my favorite movies. Yeah. I've only seen it once. Yeah, and then so Juice. I don't really, it's I don't Juice, really and then what's the joint where they was playing basketball? Oh, uh, Butter Rum? Yeah, those are like two movies that I watch like every four or five years type okay. shit, you know, just to get it back in my system. But it's not, you know, a go to. Okay. Uh, but great films, yeah. great classics. cultural hood classics. Um, classics. Great, good classics. Period. They're just good movies. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man. So now nah, that was a uh, that was guess that line. Right. And I was trying to impress you with my acting. Hopefully, you know, maybe yeah, I get accepted I, I heard the class. It. I heard it. I was. Y'all can do I it. I come to class and eat niggas. Go, boss. You know, I chop Pull people up. up. Nah, let me know though, bro. Let Pull me up. know. I want to bring my son with me. Just let him okay. watch. Yeah. Let them be around the environment. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's Hold more up. important than anything is him just like fact. sitting absorbing there it. and absorbing it, yeah. you know? So, and then let him and your son spar. Yeah. Get him something to act out. Let him, let him whoop my son's ass <laughs> if he got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Word. let them go to work. Yeah. Let them niggas spar. Yo, yo, you going over market. Uh, yeah. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Word. You better get right and what's this nigga? <laughs> it's sparring, right. man. But now nah, right. look, man. This is the culture, no vulture. Yes, sir. Our brother, my brother. He is family of the podcast, man. This is my brother, um, Mark J. Jeffries. And um, shout outs to him. We're giving you your flowers for everything you've done it. so far, bro. Um, you know, life is an illusion. We call it the matrix. Yep. Um, it is what you make it. And you just starting, bro. Every day is a new day. And you're doing extraordinary things every day. You're inspiring the people. You're giving what you taught. And that's why you keep getting them blessings abundantly. Because yeah. that's how life works. You know, yep. that's how God works. You know, we God fear and met. We're not scared to talk about it on here. You know, whatever you believe in, you know, more power to you, whatever you call it, whatever you don't call it. But as yep. long as you know, because to not believe is to believe. Because mm -hmm. you got to believe to not believe. Mm -hmm. Because that means you believe that there's even something to not believe. Mm -hmm. But fun. man, this is the Culture No Vulture Podcast. Yes, I'm sir. your host, Boss Life Lido, with my brother, Mark John Jeffries. And we out.
Peace. Care package. Uh, Certs, premium cannabis flowers. I'm giving this to my brother so he can enjoy. Shout outs to Certs, one of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. uh, much love to the team. Whenever I got a guest, a special guest, I tell them, yo, I need a care package and they put it together for me. So this is you. It's the tray box. I took the tray from you. My apologies, but it got some really dope stuff in it. <laughs> <laughs> love. Love, bro. Yo. Yeah, check that. Uh -huh. This is another DWI production.